Number one most exciting game show in Ghana. This is the Good Life Game Show. This is the only game show that is health focused, that is exciting, that is fun. We've had fun, 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 fun. And today is also another day. It is proudly brought to you by Ghana Health Service, USAID and partners, and also supported by Ghana Pay. All right, my name is Foster Romanus, and I'm your host for today. So before I unveil my contestants or my teams for today, let's go for a quick commercial break and when we come back, we get to see them. Hi, I am Lana Mampofa Bebio and I play Ariana in YOLO. I have taken my COVID-19 vaccine, but my friend here, Betty, has some questions about it. I wanted to know if I'll be able to get pregnant and have a baby in future after taking the vaccine. You know, some people are saying it affects your chances of getting pregnant. Well, let's not argue about that. Let's listen to what the doctor has to say. It is really good to talk to a health worker about COVID-19 vaccination. There are a lot of people spreading misinformation about the vaccine. COVID-19 vaccine does not affect man's manhood or woman's fertility. That is, the ability to get pregnant and to carry pregnant full term and have a healthy baby. The COVID-19 vaccine protects you, your family and friends from infections, serious sickness and death from COVID-19. Speaking to the health worker was a good idea. I need to go and get my job now. Exactly. Me, I get my job. The COVID-19 vaccine is safe for you, for your family and friends. Get vaccinated now. You only live once, so take the COVID-19 vaccine to enjoy your good life. Take along any national ID card to the nearest health facility or designated vaccination point. Get vaccinated now. Forget the job. Get the job. This message is from the Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service, with support from USAID and partners. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome back from that commercial break. So, today, my team is from the Harry Jabba Foundation, and I have Team H on my left. Make some noise for Team H. And then, on my right, I have Team Grace. Make some noise for Team Grace. And ladies and gentlemen, these are persons living with disabilities. So I'll go straight to them and we get to know them and then we shall set the ball rolling. So let me start with you. I'm Roxanne Apu and I'll be the interpreter for today's program. I'm Iman Odria. My sign name is Iman and I'm deaf. My name is Adelaide Boitier. I'm representing the Henry Jabbar Foundation and I'm visually impaired. My name is John Best. I'm um, a person living in cerebral palsy, representing the Hen Jama Foundation. Together, Together we're, we're at the age. age. So I know this is a competition, and then I know my team will be the best to pass. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about this for two reasons. Number one, because I'm going to exercise my brain and I love to do that a lot. And number two, because I'm going to learn and have fun. So, um, I'm just hoping to win and I know we will win. And I'm also very happy to be in this game. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot and also educate the public about health. And I'm sure that I'm going to win the golf prize, sure, sure. the ultimate prize as well. Exactly. I feel very happy that more people will sit and watch me compete. <laughs> yeah. To show people that the deaf can also participate. Yeah. Uh, I love games, but mostly I play games with my friends. So this is, I think, the first game show on TV for me, and I'm really excited about it. This is also a first game for me on TV. And I'm very happy 
to be part of this video. And these are Team Eight. Okay, so we'll go to Team Grace. I'm Salom Benjamin. Salom Benjamin. Make some noise for Salom. And Salom, what are you living with? I'm a physical impact. Physically impaired. My name is Dansun Kwabena. My sign name is Dansun Kwabena. I am deaf. Mary Tete, a wheelchair user. We are Team Grace. So I have decided to take part in this quiz and just to be able to exercise my brain a little and then to be able to win the contest. I take part because I want people to know that persons with disability can do more. So I expect that I will win this competition and then yeah, whatever gifts they have, I expect that I will win them. That is my expectation. To win the contest so that people will be happy. So that I will be happy too. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Team H and Team Grace. Make some noise for me. So, I'll start with the question. Mr. Mary, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Hand hygiene is the most important way to prevent the spread of germs. True or false? True. Come again. True. And true is correct. Okay. Next one. Immunization is a simple, safe, and effective means of protecting yourself against some diseases. True or false? True. True is correct! Wow. Washing your hands regularly, especially when you cannot see death on them, can damage your skin. True or false? False. False is correct! Make some noise for Mary! An insecticide treated mosquito net keeps only mosquitoes away. True or false? False. False is correct! State a commonly reported clinical symptoms among COVID 19 patients. High temperature. High temperature! Nice one. And then your last question. State a commonly reported clinical symptoms among COVID-19 patients. Another one. Sore throat. Sore throat is correct! Salam has been just a wild thing. Hand washing can reduce the risk of foodborne diseases and other infections. True or false? True, True is correct! State a commonly reported clinical symptoms among COVID-19 patients. So, Salom helped us with high temperature and then sore throat. There's about two more. It affected the facial and the face becomes weak. Your face becomes weak. I'll give it to you because it's also part of shortness of breath and difficulty in breathing. Make some noise for COVID-19! So let us go to Team A. Okay, Team A. Adelaide Desia, our superstar. <laughs> Immunization is a simple, safe, and effective means of protecting yourself against some diseases. True or false? It's true. Mm. Adelaide, say it again. It's not true. Say it again. It's true. It's not true. Say it again. Say it again. It's true. It is true. Hey, Adelaide. If you are immunized, you become protected and may not pass the disease to another person. True or false? True. It is true. Do all mosquitoes transmit the malaria parasite? No. Hey, what my man, we empower us no, and it is correct. Okay, George. The muscles work 
in an oxygen rich state during aerobic exercise true or false true, true is correct <laughs> mention one measure the government instituted to detect and prevent the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. What did the government do to prevent? Encouraging social distancing. Oh, make some noise for him! <laughs> By practicing social distancing. Mention one measure instituted to detect and prevent the spread of COVID-19 pandemic by the Ghana Health Service. So there are about four of them or five of them. George gave one. The use of nose masks. The use of nose masks! Yes, 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 yes! Name one symptom of Malaria. The person feels cold and shivering. Cold and shivering is correct. She said, "I'm not a bobo, a bobo." Self-testing through a fitness plan to monitor progress, determine the effectiveness of the program, and update your goals. True or false? It is true! <laughs> and we have come to the end of round one. We'll go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll announce the result. Good life! Good life! Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So at the end of the first round, Team H is having 24 points. And then Team Grace also has 24 points. So we'll be right back after this commercial break for round two. So my daughter was sweating and he had a headache. We have tried all our best, but still, even Crawford Church in Runobi. This is also not working. So I have to do something before it is too late. With all these symptoms, you still cannot be sure until we do the malaria test using RDT. And if it's negative for malaria, I will refer you to a nearby clinic for further investigations. But if it's positive, she would have to take ACT for the treatment of malaria. And make sure she takes the full three-day course, even if she shows signs of getting better after a day or two. And the test was positive. So you have to fight the malaria with ACT. ACTs are really effective for malaria. And I'm glad to do the right thing for my daughter before it was too late. Getting tested first and getting the right treatment. Let's come together and drive malaria away for good life. Don't self-medicate. Test for malaria at a pharmacy or a clinic as soon as you notice symptoms. This advert is brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Ghana Health Service. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round two. And round two is the Good Life Challenge. Here we have a basketball hoop here. And this game is called the Basketball Hoops. Contestants or players are supposed to uh, score five balls in a row or score five balls. The first person to score five balls wins this round. Is Team H ready? Emmanuel is representing Team H. And Kwabna Danso is representing Team Grace. So, if they are ready, three, two, one. Okay, one for Team H, one for Team Grace, two for Team Grace, two for Team H, three for Team Grace, three for H, four and five for H. 
Team Edge scored five. Aha! So Team Edge scored all five balls first. And so Team Edge wins this round. Ladies and gentlemen, we go for a quick commercial break when we come back, round three, and then we see who the winner is. I'll be right back. Hello, my name is Queen Stanifi and I play the role of Emily in YOLO. Many people have questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. Today, I'm presenting a question from Abuna. My name is Abuna. I want to know if it will affect my baby if I take the vaccine because I'm still breastfeeding my baby. That's a very good question. Let's ask the doctor. Thank you for your question. Taking the COVID-19 vaccine is safe for you as a nursing mother and your baby. Many pregnant women and nursing mothers are all taking the COVID-19 vaccines with no adverse effects. The COVID-19 vaccine is safe for you, for your family and friends. Get vaccinated now. You only live once. So take the COVID-19 vaccine to enjoy your good life. Take along any national ID card to the nearest health facility or designated vaccination point. Get vaccinated now. Forget the yabo. Get the jab. This message is from the Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service, with support from USAID. <laughs> Forget the yab. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So after the second round, Team H won with 10 points. Make some noise for Team H. And so currently, our score stands at Team H with 34 points and Team Grace with 24 points. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Do more your way on Ghana Pay. Send and receive money at zero transaction fees. Pay bills, buy airtime and data, transfer money in and out of your bank accounts, and so much more with Ghana Pay. Dial star 707 hash to register for Ghana Pay or download the Ghana Pay app from the Play Store or App Store. Then I landed. Ghana Pay, I landed. Ghana Pay, your money, your way. We are entering into the last and the final round, and this round, like you always do, each group is bringing out their best contestant to represent them. And so who is representing Team H, and who is representing Team Grace? This round, we are asking you to the same question. Whoever answers it first gets the mark. If you answer it wrong, we'll deduct three points. If you answer it correct, you get five marks. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so, number one. Who can get malaria? Anyone. Hey. And this is the time. Go on, give it to them. Give it to them. Where you are being from, right? What time of the day is best? Any time. Hey. Okay. Hmm. Regular physical activity is proven to help prevent and treat the following non-communicable diseases except A, flu, B, stroke, C, breast and colon cancer, D, hypertension. A, a flu. Hmm. Okay, I heard Adelaide first. I'll give it to Adelaide. I'll give it to Adelaide. Adelaide said it first. Okay, number four. Pregnant women, babies, and young children are at greater risk of dying of malaria. True or true, false? True. true is correct. <laughs> Which of these diseases can occur from drinking contaminated water? Pneumonia, smallpox, malaria, 
Cholera. Cholera. And this is the time, so I'll give it to the two of them. Hey. Okay. Fever and headache are symptoms of malaria. True or true, false? True. true from your head, you are true first. Okay, so your last question. Which group of people are eligible to get vaccines? Pregnant women, 15 years and above. Lactating mothers, all of their bad. All of their It's a tie, ladies and gentlemen. He said D, he said all of their bad, and it's the same answer. So I'll give it to the two of them. Give it up for Team H and Team Grace. All right, so you can go back to your stand. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of round three. Make some noise for our contestants, ladies and gentlemen. This was keenly contested. So at the end of round three and putting all the marks together, Team Grace came up with 54 points. Make some noise for Team Grace. And our winner for today is Team H. And they had 64 So ladies and gentlemen, to help us with the presentation, I have Rene Opari Oti of the Ghana House Service and Amma Ampofua of Yolo fame. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our award presenters. Thank you very much. So, we'll present to Team Grace. Congrats, That's great. And then, um, Amma and Pofu Ariana will do the next one to sell them. And then, congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Fabina Danso. From, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Team Grace. And then we also have our winners, Team A. <laughs> So please come for your, for your present. Congratulations. 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 And Adley Desia is taking her present. Congratulations. A round of applause for Team H. Thank you very much, Madam Rene Opari O2 of Ghana Health Service. And good life. Good life. Forget the yab. Okay, so this is where we draw the curtains on today's episode of the Good Life Game Show. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. And this was proudly brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, USAID and partners, and it was supported by Ghana Pay. My name is Foster Romanus, and until the same time, wherever we meet again, it is bye-bye from here. One more time. Good life. Good life. Forget the yam. Goodbye. So I was very, very happy knowing that I've gotten a TV. Hey, 32 inches. <laughs> Taking it home, I'll cross my legs and then sit and I'll just be watching. I'm very, very excited to be in the winning team. When I was coming, I told my friends and my siblings that I was coming to win. I was coming to win. And so I just couldn't imagine myself going back with an office. So, well, where's your TV? And I do. The bragging right. Okay, I won. I won. And that's it for me. I'm so, so, so excited. 
excited to be in the reading team. Yeah, I'm also super excited because hey, <laughs> I'm on the winner channel. H, H team is the best. The yeah. champion <laughs> gonna also make ice. Yeah. We are so happy. Yeah. So even though we lost and then we could not um, win the ultimate prize, we were still compensated with some um, uh, prizes and that made me fine. So, uh, after the competition, I learned a lot, especially about my health, things that can affect my health and make me weak, and about COVID-19. I learned a lot about um, health. Hey, <laughs> 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 